What is going on, guys? Welcome to the return of the wrestling podcast. That's right, the most epic name in all podcasting history. The most epic podcast of all time has returned. So a couple weeks ago, I uploaded a podcast on this channel called Unnamed Podcast Episode Zero. And I wanted to do a podcast. I got this new microphone and I just had these ideas and I wanted to, you know, talk wrestling, give my thoughts on what's going on with like, you know, current news or stuff like that, review shows, give my thoughts and, and predictions and all this stuff. But I also wanted to do other stuff with it, not just wrestling, you know, have my friends on, talk about events we went to or just stuff in general. And I didn't know what to call it. And then I had a realization that back in 2012 slash 2013, I'll, I'll explain, uh, me and It's CJ Productions. Yes, if you remember that name. Now he's Chris. Chris likes movies. He's a man of many names. Let's just say that. We made a podcast called The Wrestling Podcast. And I actually own the channel The Wrestling Podcast, which I think is pretty cool. So I'll have to log into that one day because I honestly forgot I own that channel. Uh, so we did that podcast in 2012. We did four episodes. Well, it was technically three episodes. One was a two-parter. And uh, like we did this thing where we uploaded to a website as well as YouTube and you could download it like it was just too complicated and whatnot. And then a year later, I brought the wrestling podcast back with Britton Harrison and KCON Hawks. And I don't know if you know, uh, at that time he was DM Punk 300, I think. But now he's in Zane Mark on YouTube. I don't even know if he still makes videos, but uh, I'm, I'm sure you all know Britton Harrison. If you don't know Britton Harrison, then I don't even know. Like... He's the, it's the Jericho guy, the, oh my god, you can see, okay, no one knows what I'm talking about. Go watch the link in the description titled Britain's Reaction. That's going to be in the description. You have to watch that. I will allow you to stop this podcast and go watch that video if you have not seen it already. So I decided to bring back the wrestling podcast name just because it's a simple title. And like I said, I own the channel, so no one can take that channel and call it their own. I mean, nowadays you can change your name to whatever on YouTube, so that's not the thing. I wanted to do a podcast, okay? And I, I saw Alex Lorenzo doing his podcast, and I was like, man, he is, like, killing it. Like, he's uploading every single week. They're fun to listen to. They're not, like, hours and hours long like some other podcasts that, personally, I've done where, like, you just talk and talk and talk, and now you're uploading, you know, two parts or three parts. And it, it's just, it's a good podcast. It's, like, an easy listen, you know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, like, even, like, less than that. It's just something to listen to, and he's uploading constantly. And that's something that I tell a lot of people, like, you need to upload constantly so the viewers know when you're going to upload and there's a schedule and they know when to expect the video. So he uploads a podcast every Saturday and he kills it. Like they're, they're awesome. And, you know, I saw that and like sometimes I need to take my own advice, you know, for instance, this uploading it all the time type deal. I really hope to upload this at least every single Friday for the time being, just talking about my thoughts in wrestling. That's what I want to do. I want to talk about wrestling. I want to talk about what's going on, my thoughts on shows, predictions, this, that, and the other. And I'm excited for it because I think that this is a easier way than video, even though it's not you know, it, it's the same time editing wise, but at least there's no like video that you have to watch. You could just like throw a picture on top of the audio, but I still edit these because I mess up a lot and I like to edit things out, but uh, I'm excited for this. And uh, if you ever want to leave feedback or comments or anything, leave them in the comments down below. So let's get started with a return episode of the wrestling podcast. <laughs> start off i wrote down a couple topics to talk about today some will be shorter than others so starting off this is a nxt spoiler i guess you can say so if you don't want to be spoiled and skip ahead a few seconds but roderick strong debuted in nxt he's teaming up with austin aries for the dusty tag team classic i don't know what it's called i think that's what it's called i'm not sure but roderick strong like he was just the ring of honor like, now he's in NXT. This is a huge deal. I, like, this is awesome. He's one of the first guys that I started watching. Going to all these Ring of Honor shows, like, he was at every single Ring of Honor show. So I got to see him in, like, so many matches. And, like, he's such a good wrestler. And I'm so glad that he got this chance in NXT. And I'm excited to see where he goes from here. So he's teaming with Austin Aries. That's awesome. So good luck to Roderick Strong in NXT. I'm excited to see where he goes from here. The next thing I wanted to talk about is kind of big news. And, you know, a lot of people have been talking about it and give their thoughts and uh, you know, just opinions on this match, but uh, Mr. Goldberg is making a return to face Brock Lesnar 
at Survivor Series. Well, it's not official, I guess. Like, it's official, but it's not official. I guess Goldberg's going to be on Raw on Monday, and he's going to come out and say something to Paul Heyman. Like, hey, like you challenged me. Well, too bad. I'm not wrestling. Or I don't know. Maybe Brock will come out. Something's going to happen. But at Survivor Series, it's going to be Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg. Now, personally, now this is just me. You can give your opinions down below because I would like to hear what other people have to say about this. I don't care for this match. I don't care to see this match. Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg is not, you know, it's not something I want to see. The only time I wanted to see Goldberg return was when Ryback was around and everyone was chanting Goldberg at him because he kind of had the same look and everything like that. So that was the only time I wanted to see Goldberg return. So what do you guys think? Is you know is Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar? Like, are you excited for this? So let me know in the comments. Is this something that you guys have been waiting for? Is this a match that you really, really want to see to the point of you would fly all the way to Toronto to, to see this if you could? I think it's sold out. If anything, they should have put this match on the Royal Rumble, which is in a stadium in the Alamo Dome or whatever the heck it's called. And they are going to have like thousands of people in there. And who knows if they're going to sell it out? Who knows if they're going to be able to sell all the tickets? I'm sure they're giving away a lot of tickets, but I mean, that's a stadium two months before WrestleMania. It's the start of WrestleMania season, and they're going to give, uh, you know, this humongous arena. Like, it's going to be a, a fun show, I'm sure. And if you're going, it's going to be a fun time. But it's just like they should have had that, you know, this Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg match for like a big show like that. Now, Survivor Series, yes, it's one of the big four. And I'm glad that Toronto finally gets a pay per view because I know my friends who live in Toronto, they, you know, they want to go to a pay per view and they don't want to have to go to the States to, you know, go to a show. So there you go. You know, Toronto finally gets a pay per view again. But, you know, I'm, I'm happy that they're going to be able to see this. And it's kind of like a big weekend because you got NXT and you got Raw and you got all this fun stuff. I just don't care for this match, really. Like, I'm, I'm obviously going to watch it and I obviously have an opinion on the match. And maybe it's going to be a million star match and it's going to be one of the greatest matches ever. Going into it, I'm not too excited about this match. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. It'll be good to hear what someone else has to say. So the final thing I wanted to talk about, honestly, I don't remember the last time I talked about TNA on my channel like like this is history right here like like when was the last video that i mentioned tna i don't even remember the last time i remember something big happening in tna was back in 2010 when all my friends were tna marks and they were all pro tna and they were saying how good it was and i was pro wwe and they were saying oh you know you gotta you gotta come here you got, you got aj styles you got hulk hogan you got eric bischoff you got the fortune like and i was here like but we got, you know, we got CM Punk on SmackDown or, you know, we got you know, John Cena doing this or and Nexus doing that. Like we, we had like a rivalry almost. It was when TNA was trying to do the Monday Night Wars thing all over again, where they went to Monday nights for impact. All my friends were like, hey, TNA is awesome and you got to watch it. And I tried to watch it. And I just couldn't really get into it that much. And, and I was still watching WWE and I was still liking, you know, Monday Night Raw and SmackDown a lot more. Well, guess what, guys? TNA is dying. So, shout out to my friends. I don't know if they're going to listen to this. You know who you are. But uh, who won in that situation? I did. <laughs> well, honestly, no one wins in this situation. But, you know, TNA, I make a lot of jokes about it. And I'll joke around on Twitter. And I even thought about making, like, a like leave the memories alone, like, TNA thing. Where it shows, like, the title. And it says, rest in peace, TNA. And, you know, it says, like, highlight video package or something like that. And then it plays leave the memories alone. And then it goes to a black screen. And that's it. <laughs> There's a lot of things going on with TNA where they put themselves in a situation where people can make these jokes about it. And TNA is just another wrestling company. And as a wrestling fan, you don't want to see anyone die. You don't want to see Ring of Honor or this indie promotion or TNA even. Like, you don't want to see them go away because, uh, you know, if you respect the wrestlers, you want them to work somewhere. Like, for instance, Mike Bennett. Mike Bennett is the man, and I know my friend Phil, Nightmare 10 once again, um, I, like, me and Phil are, like, huge Mike Bennett fans, and Mike Bennett is awesome, like, he's one of the nicest guys, him and Maria, both of them, they're, they're some of the nicest people that I ever met, and they're, they're wrestlers, and they're on, you know, TNA, and they're doing their thing, now, I haven't watched, you know, a lot of TNA, and I know what Mike Bennett's really doing, but I don't want him to lose a job. Like, now, if he's going to leave TNA and go to WWE, that's one thing. But honestly, in WWE, we already have The Miz and Maurice. Like, The Miz and Maurice are, like, the same thing as Mike Bennett and Maria. Like, if you really think about it, 
they're kind of like a, a similar thing, just in different companies. I mean, they can't really do that unless they change the thing. So like, it's just like, I don't want the wrestlers to like lose work or I don't want them to not wrestle somewhere. And I know they're going to be able to get, you know, booked and stuff like that. So I don't want TNA to die, but at this point, they, I don't know what else they can do, but go away. Like there's, there's nothing, there's nothing really good. That's going to come from this in my opinion on their end. And I don't know what's going to happen next. So if you don't know why I went on that little rant, Billy Corgan, who was the one that I think he's the president of TNA now. I mean, after this, I don't think he is still, I don't know what's going on really, but Billy Corgan, who put in so much money into the TNA tapings, uh, you know, from the past couple of months and, uh, you know, shows and paying for wrestlers and this, that, and the other, the production of it all. He is suing Dixie Carter and the rest of TNA, I guess, for pretty much like the money. Like he wanted to buy the company, which I feel like he had a lot of good ideas and he can really change it into something that can grow and be another promotion, uh, you know, that maybe not compete with WWE, but it's an alternative. And I feel like he, you know, should have bought TNA. Like he was putting money in TNA so that TNA would stay alive so he could buy it. But at some point, you put so much money in and you don't get much back. And if Dixie Carter doesn't want to sell TNA, then what the heck was the point? That's why he's suing TNA. And that's what I understand for why he's suing TNA. And honestly, like, I don't know what's next for TNA. If, if he's going to sue TNA and Dixie Carter, what the heck is going on? <laughs> like, nothing makes sense. <laughs> like, this is just adding to the pile of crap that TNA is in. I don't know how they can come out of this. I, I just don't know. Like, I honestly think that this is the end of TNA, like, for sure. Obviously, they filmed up till, like, December. But after that... What the heck are they going to do? Like, they're not going to have a place to go. They got to pay off this, this lawsuit that's going on. I think Billy Corgan's going to win no matter what, like in this, you know, if, when it takes it to court, but man, like what is going on with like TNA is just, they, just, there's nothing left. There's nothing left of them. And I want them to you know be another place for wrestlers to go. But at this point, I don't know what's next. I know there was talks of WWE getting the library to have on the network and Billy Corgan was going to take, you know, the wrestling, like the template of the wrestling. And he was going to take that and WWE was going to own like the TNA name basically. So Billy Corgan's wrestling wouldn't be called TNA or Impact. It would just be whatever he names it, which I feel like they need a name change because TNA is going to be a tainted name from here on out and it already kind of is and when someone says oh i'm going to a tna show or oh i'm going to watch tna like there's that little thing in the back of people's minds where it's like why tna like what so it's that little thing that's never going to go away unless they change the name unless they change what they're doing and unless they get money because like i don't know what's next like i said so the question is what's next for tna i'd like to hear what you guys have to say in the comments down below who knows maybe a month from now TNA is going to be gone, even though they're still going to be putting shows on TV. I don't know what's next. Shout out to Stevie Breach and his grapes. <laughs> so I think that's going to be it for this week. Thank you guys for listening. Anything I talked about in this podcast, if you want to respond to it, leave it in the comments down below. It'll be nice to see what you guys have to say and what other people have to say other than just my opinion. I want to make this show where I talk about something, I give my opinion, and then you guys give your opinion on it because you might have a different thought. You might think that TNA is going to be fine in all of this. You may think that Roderick Strong is going to be up to the main roster right away, or you know, you might have a different opinion on Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar. So it's stuff like that that I want to see what people have to say, and it's the connection that I kind of want to make with the people listening. I'm excited for this podcast. The Wrestling Podcast is the name of it. This is the third time I'm bringing back the name The Wrestling Podcast. So this is history in the making. There's going to be a book one day. The Wrestling Podcast, the rise and fall of the podcasting industry for youtube.com slash whatever the heck my channel is at the time. My plan for this podcast is to upload one every single Friday, no matter what's going on. I'm going to try to record something every Friday, talking about wrestling, talking about whatever's going on. I'm excited for it. Thank you guys for listening, and I'll be back next Friday with another podcast.